uh, welcome to the second uh, series of uh, lectures in uh, LIS 2010. Um, that is the organization of uh, information resources. Uh, in our first series, uh, we're looking uh, at um, what is a catalog. And we try to define a catalog by in, uh, stating that a catalog is um, uh, an inventory or a listing of uh, uh, materials uh, in a particular library. Um, I, I, may I also mention that um, uh, this listing is not uh, arranged anyhow. The keyword is that it's systematically arranged in a particular plan or order. And, and uh, mostly it is arranged by author, then by title, or by subject, or according to a particular classification system. So a catalog is not any list, any kind, any list of materials, but it is uh, uh, a listing that is organized according to standards and rules or codes. So uh, this must be very clear. Now, in this particular lecture, we are looking at what are the functions, in a little bit more in detail, what are the functions of a, uh, a library catalog? First of all, a library catalog is uh, an information retrieval tool, an information um, retrieval So and if, uh, it's a very, very important information retrieval tool uh, which informs uh, or helps the users, the library users, including the library staff, to be able to retrieve information in the, uh, a library. A library, usually over the years, if it has, after accumulating or acquiring so many uh, materials, uh, it may have thousands of books, uh, thousands of journal articles, uh, um, and other related uh, materials. So it becomes very difficult to search and retrieve these materials if there is no uh, catalog. So a catalog, as we said earlier, it's a comprehensive listing of all that the library has. So in other words, a record of what the library has and therefore, it is used for retrieving materials in the library so that uh, we can search and find materials if we know uh, either the, the, the author of that material, the title of the material, or the subject. So a catalog helps us to, to find out what the library has by a particular author, or title, or what the library has on a particular subject. So it helps the users, whether it's library staff, whether it is students, whether it is researchers, to find out uh, what is the library has on a particular, by a particular author, by a particular title or on a particular subject. Again, a, a library catalog performs another function. That function is um, apart from finding out what the library has, it helps us to know the location of that library material. When the library material has been identified in the catalog, the catalog shows the user where to find that material within the library. Because the catalog shows exactly where that material is found in the library, on the shelves, be it on the shelves, be it uh, in a cabinet or in a storage facility. The third uh, point is that uh, it also helps uh, library users with the choice of materials. For example, the library users can decide um, whether to 
uh, on a particular library material, whether they want to, to, to get the electronic version of that material, or they want to have a hard copy of that material, or they want to particular edition of that material. So it, is, it helps in the choice of materials. A library catalog also um, helps the users to know the status of that material. Whether it is on loan, it has been borrowed out of the library, or it is available within the library. If it is on loan, when is it likely to be returned? Um, so that library user can decide whether to uh, place a reserve or to book for that material. So the major functions of a library catalog, particularly to a user, uh, retrieval. That's the major function, to help the user to identify what is available in the library, either by author, title, or subject, to locate what that library material is, where that library material is, and to make a choice on the available library materials, either by edition or by a particular format. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. um, thank you, Doc, this is very important. I think with um, just the, how, how information resources now have, have changed yes. in, in terms of formats. Now we've got um, audio books, you know, um, so a, a person can search by, by, by author, for example, mm -hmm. and um, even though I'm searching by author, deep down I know that I need a book by John Maxwell and uh, I want to find out if the library has it in audio, you know, so I can, I can, work, can I watch something that, that someone has has written. I think this is, this is very important. Um, you, you focused more on the functions of a library from a perspective of um, a user. Mm -hmm. Would you highlight a little bit on the, on the functions of a library from a perspective of a library? From, from the perspective of the library, yes, yeah. the library right. catalog is a very, very important tool. Yeah. First of all, the library in acquisitions, when the library is acquiring new materials. Before acquiring new materials, the library will search in the catalogs to avoid duplication. Uh, so the library staff who are working in the collection development department will search the catalogs to verify whether that library material is available before they can spend money on uh, buying a new material. Then, uh, so that's very important. Then, uh, secondly, in within collection development or acquisitions, the library catalog helps the, uh, the library departments to identify gaps in the collection. Uh, because the catalog would indicate in which subject areas we have more materials, in which subject area we have very few materials. And, and, and most likely what subject areas are, are used the most? Like uh, yes, well, what subject areas are heavily used? What formats are, are the uh, what patrons for, love? What formats are the patrons most likely to use? Yeah. You know, yeah, the, uh, we use heavily or less. Yeah. And uh, also um, the catalog is useful in the library uh, in terms of management of stock mm -hmm. when we are doing weeding and stock taking. Without the catalog, we can't tell what is available in the library and whether these materials are still uh, available or the, they have not been returned or they've been stolen or lost. Uh, so a uh, catalog helps us in stock taking and in weeding. Yeah. Uh, weeding is removing uh, materials that are outdated or obsolete. Yeah. Okay? Um, the catalog is... Um, uh, very important, uh, therefore, to the library management in the sense that they use it especially in two major areas, uh, in collection development uh, and in the management of the stock, particularly stock taking and the, the weeding process. Well, thank you so much, Doc. I think um, you, 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 you've highlighted very important points on, on what the catalog um, the function that the catalog plays in a, in a library for the user and for the library itself. Thank you.